And we're back, fellow knife enthusiast. I'm C, and this is... Jewel. Just Jewel. Hope you had a great week. If you didn't, well, join the club. We have jackets. Wait, what was so awful about your week? Oh, don't tell me. One guess. A your mother-in-law. Mother -in yeah. yeah, I should have known. Do I want to know what she did this week, or should we just let our viewers guess? It's just a, like a culmination Ah, oh, this added on, added on, added on. Little, little things, you know. It's it's forty degrees up here. I'm freezing. <laughs> Last night it was eighty three upstairs. Oh, yeah. she has a list too. I thought it could drive me about hell. <laughs> you know. Wow. All right, let's get back to it. Let's just you know. It's okay. All right. Ahead. Ready? Mhm. Mm what do we have on the table this week for our? Fellow AKers. Well, actually, it's a pretty good lineup this week. We've got knives from companies like VDK Knives, uh, Mazarin, Lion Steel, and Bark River. All right, all right, sounds good. Some of the lesser-known brands. Yeah. But as we've said, variety is spice of life. Please make sure to hit those like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons. That way, you can be entered in our giveaway for the Roik M875 TZ, oh, so we can keep bringing you new. It's not working. Knife content every single week. How's that sound? Is that really necessary about the, the chicken salad? Nope. And Our first knife is the Lion Steel Thrill. <laughs> I feel like this, but I get a little thrill. There you go. Let me sing for it. Two thriller. No. Oh, uh, you went two... thriller. All right, go ahead. Uh, where were you going? I found my, my thrill. thrill. Okay. All right, do it. For two reasons. Uh, one, the pocket clip application is different. And the color. <clears throat> it is so vibrant and, like, different from reds we've seen before. And that sounds kind of cheesy, but <clears throat> I just think it, it looks great on this knife. I mean, it is a slip joint, but on this carry, I don't actually mind. You know, I don't, I don't either. Yeah, this is the modern not, take. Yeah. yeah. And it's not super, like, just going to slip and close on you, like some of them might. This is just close and that's it. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys the specs. Show it to them. This knife is 7 inches overall with a 3.15 inch and 390 centered stainless steel blade, which opens smoothly with a IKBS ball bearing system. Blade comes in uh, on the HRC scale about 59.60. No. With a satin finish and a spring tip reinforced with a treated stainless steel insert. Wow. Yeah. The handle on this one is red aluminum, though you can get it in orange and green, while the titanium versions come in gray, blue, brown, and black. Mm -hmm. This slip joint has, obviously, no lock. It's built from a single piece of material completely obtained by Milling and Lion Steel's patented... Hold on, hold on. Should I call it the hell well the or the H well? It pops out the pocket clip. System that allows you to hide, get it? What? The pocket clip inside the handle. Wait, weren't you gonna do your whole? Where did it go? Hell well. Oh, with the Jewish thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well. That's okay. Um, this is a pretty good carry in my in my opinion. I like the red one and the green one mostly. I mean. I'm not sure why you would exactly need a titanium slip joint. I mean, extra durability, maybe? I just, I know, I feel like it's a, a little overdoing it. Well, I will tell you, this one wouldn't even made the table, but somebody called <clears throat> and yeah. wanted to buy one, and I noticed it and thought, wow, that's brand new. Mm -hmm. And so, it's really pretty. And, and he actually bought the red one, but switched to the titanium. What? And since then, we've sold, I don't know, five or six what more. This? Just the red ones. What is that is just that? A, like a, a backspacer? Looks like it's just a see-through part of the... Uh, oh. Like a, a kind mist. Of neat. It's like the opposite of a backspacer. Well, th this is like the integral style where it's made of one piece. piece. Yeah, like we said. Yeah, but the... You have to have the backspacer portion there. See how it bends? Yes. To make it the slip joint. I meant the hole is like the... They just didn't need to go all the way through. I don't know. The... Probably just for design. You can't put a lanyard through there, so... Just different, no, I guess. Just it. different. I'll show you guys right there. Right. And you guys can get your own thrill for only a hundred and nineteen ninety five or hundred ninety nine ninety five for the titanium ones on our website, AtlantKnife.com. 
just depends on which one you want. You gotta spend a little more to get the nice materials. That's just the way of the world. That's how it is. Okay, next blade up is the VDK Knives Talisman. First off, I like the name and that it comes in two different versions. That has this one, which is just thumb stud flipper. And then the other one, which they, I think they, is this one the, this one might be the non-flipper version. No tab. Yeah, yeah, no flipper tab. And the other one comes with a flipper tab and a thumb stud, so. And this version here is the jade one. Yeah, Another with the thing. thumb stud flipper, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Seems that uh, mm -hmm. copper and jade G10 mm -hmm. are the pretzel bun as, yeah, I, you know, I guess the knife you, Yeah, I guess right you could now. say that. Yeah. Ready? What in the Supposed world? Supposed to be... <laughs> You're supposed to be saying VDK Knives right now. VDK Knives is a relatively small company. Jesus. I mean, they only got started like four years ago. Well, it started floating in front of my face. I mean, yeah. Put it in my face. You must have wanted me to grab it. No. But they already had no. a good range of knives under their belt. Especially these talismans. putting a filter you can't, on him. You can't. Look. No filter zone. You can't zone. stop me. Filter you, you zone over here. You can only hope to contain me. Just. It kind of fitted them, you know, for all individuals. Those who want flippers. You know, with a tab. Those who don't, want a thumb stud. I feel like they are really trying to make a knife for each individual taste. I mean, we still have, uh, they still connect the designs. Keep them all the same. Pure, you know? pure poetry over here. Let's just go to the specs. This liner lock is 7.7 .7 inches overall with a 3.6 inch what blade. What did you just do? What did you I just held up do? my Atlantic knife. You did not. What the sidekick you Oh, I'm not sidekicking yeah, anymore. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. With a 3.6 inch blade made of D2. Finally, haven't seen that in a while. It's also got a black DLC finish, which also appears on the stainless steel liners. Finally, there is a ceramic detent, a hidden steel lock bar insert, ceramic bearings, and of course, a pocket clip and G10 hand. This one's the jade one, I believe. Yeah, the jade mm -hmm. G10 handle. Exactly. Which, depending on if you get the flipper or the uh, thumb stud version, yeah. comes in purple, blue, red, and black. Or it's like cherry. Yeah, I like cherry, like jean. They had some weird names for them. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Are you two? <laughs> I feel like you should be sailing behind me with bunny ears right now. That's what you should be doing right now. Yeah. That's, how, that's what I feel like right now. Never Just keep that. <laughs> Don't. Say it. All right. Whoo. So, what do you think of it? Let's hear it. Mm, well, probably that's cut your style you pretty right well. there, isn't it? I like the jade handle. I, I like the black blade. That's kind of like a, a not exactly a stone washed finish, maybe like a tumbled stone washed finish kind of thing. Black washed, yeah. Black, I yeah. got you. And I like that it comes with. Uh, you can either have the thumb stud one, or the flipper and thumb stud one. I prefer flipper studs, so I like that they did that for me there. Yes. I do not like the black blades, but <gasps> it looks fine you on these knives. You hold your tongue. I'm not a black blade person. I do like the design of the blade. It is neat, and I like the uh, style of the knife. The handle is kind of cool that it comes out a little farther here. Yeah, they, uh, that, there's one thing about that that may concern me. <gasps> if I did drop it, would it be an issue? What? I don't know. No, because well, the blade what? We're, we're at 165.84. <laughs> On AtlanticKnife.com. Get so your you, own talisman. You don't want to drop it and, and have it. Well, know. look, it, the name's the talisman. You gotta love the name. It's a good luck charm. And the jade. If you get the jade one, that's like double luck. I like luck. it. It's nice. How about that? And it comes with a pouch. So I always gotta have the pouch, don't you? Yeah, you do. That protects the knife. Yep. A high quality when they're made. Exactly. Too. All right. Ready? Yep. Next knife. Whoop, whoop. The nice Bark knife. River Mini Fox. But before we get to that. Please make sure to enter our giveaways. We're begging you to enter our giveaways. Well, he's begging. We, we actually have like. three going on right now. No. Do you know that? No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we have two. YouTube, which is the There Roy you go. <laughs> Atlantic Knife's blog, this one. And Wendy wanted to do a giveaway on Facebook. Really? And I think Instagram. She did a solve Terminix. I don't know Which when one? she's in it. The crimson or the OD green? Ah, uh, I think it was the green. Oh, this one's got the beta lock. It was the green. It was the green one? I can't remember. Okay, so that's yeah, She the asked Roy me, can I do one? She was running Facebook that day, and I said, go right ahead. 
So. Share, like, subscribe, and comment on this episode or the last one. You'll be entered to win the Roik M875 TZ and answer the Atlantic Knife <laughs> blog trivia question. You could be walking away with this titanium beauty, the artisan proponent. Yeah. I love this knife. Would be something. I'd love to walk away with that. Me too. Drew Crispy was a little upset he didn't win again. <sighs> all right, support us, and we'll give you free stuff. That's perfect motivation, don't you think? Mm -hmm. We all win there. Exactly, all except right. Drew Crispy. We did promise him that knife, and now we're giving it away. Oh, I didn't promise him nothing. We, yeah, we did. We said you could have the next knife for the next giveaway instead. And he said, okay, because he commented on the last one, he didn't win it, and we told him, well, look, you can't win oh. it. Oh, well, Drew Crispy can't have a knife. He'll hurt himself. Your crispy handles the, I know the videos, so... And he ain't hurt himself yet, but exactly. it still amazes me how he had... <laughs> All right. Okay, but back to business. The knife business. Uh, the Bark River Mini Fox. First impressions. Oh, it's a nice little Skinner. It's, um... It's Bark River. Wait, I mean, wait, the wait, handle's it clean. It's perfectly it made. It is. It's polished. The, uh, it's clean lines. Pins are even with the... And it's nice to handle. hold. They're perfectly spaced. I like it. It's going to work. I mean, I, I'm not it's a big sharp. hunting knife person, so I mean, I still like the Topps Rapid Strike because I can put them in my And it feet. always comes with a nice yeah. sheath. Yeah. Scroll. All right. It is a very nice sheath. Ready? Yeah. Let's do some Let's specs. Okay. Here we go. The fixed blade carry is 6.75 inch overall with a 2.9 inch drop point blade made of CPM mm -hmm. 3V that has a satin finish and a convex grind. Okay. Comes in at about 59.60 on the RC scale. The handle is black canvas micarta, which are polished and mm -hmm. secured to the tang with two perfectly Count polished pins. Two marshmallows. This knife weighs only four ounces and, as we said, comes with a leather sheath. We left it in the bag because we're lazy like that. Um, you can also have a lantern hole here. Use that, you know, for a perfect different carry option. Finally, it's made in the USA, so can't get much better than that. No, nope, I don't. It's uh, a really nice hunting fix. I don't think. I mean, it's it's a little, just a little plain for me. I'd like a little more color or some flair or some prettiness, but does it really need to be pretty? No, it's for hunting. Yeah. And for, you know. I know. A hundred and some bucks. AtlanticKnife.com. All Bark Rivers are a hundred and some bucks. Yeah. So. It's made in the USA, so you kind of have to expect yep, it. Yep, it really doesn't matter which one you get. Though. Last Let's knife see. on the table, the Mazarin Reactor. Do you have a reaction to the reactor? Oh my gosh, yes I do, but we'll say that later. Okay. Go I'm ahead. All right, this is my favorite knife on the week, on, of the week on the it's, table. It's about time we got okay. to this. So, okay. it is over nine inches long, mm -hmm. hence why I like it so much. With a 4.25 inch stone washed See, D2. you say those jokes earlier, and I say trying to compensate for something, and now we're both... Just go ahead. Sorry. Which I'm joke sorry. are you talking about? <laughs> never buy gibbness from a moil? The, the yes. Yeah. I should never buy gibbness from a moil. It's so chewy. Uh, okay. <clears throat> D2. Uh, before I was so rudely, rudely interrupted. interrupted. I was girl interrupting. It has a D2. interrupting. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm man stancing right now. <laughs> So, <clears throat> steel sure. blade, a black G10 handle with titanium back, reversible pocket clip, extended tang, glass break, and the infamous what? lanyard hole. Is it a lanyard hole if there's no lanyard in it? That is the question I pose to you. Is it? And there's a barrel spacer too and some jimping on the blade. Mm -hmm. There's also the flipper stud for uh, easy deployment. And finally, made in Italy. If Mazarin didn't tip you off. Um, I was looking at this knife when I pulled it out for the box for the week, mm -hmm. and does this remind you of like a cross, now bear with me, of like a Mari Colasso, Follow me here. the Cold Steel Espada, and the Antonini, I think it was like a reset we did? Oh yeah, with you... a Dijo tattoo on the blade, yeah. I'm <laughs> just kidding, it does. I got you on your Mari Oh thing. wow, thanks, thanks. Size of Mari, style Espada. Yeah. Yeah, Antonini, I'm not sure where you get that from. Because Maybe the Italian uh, line touch. The Italian line, the black handle, and the way it handles, it kind of reminds me of... I can't remember exactly what the name of it was. It was like Antonini Reset something. Mm -hmm. It had like a special type of lockup system, but I can't remember what exactly it was called now. But it Got just kind of reminded me of that. Okay. Like yes, that. I agree 100%. What do you like about it? What do I like about it? I like that it's Italian. 
I can put it in my uh, Porsche. Oh, I'm yes. just kidding. <laughs> right next to my Ferrari. Next to my finely fine leather man bag. <laughs> In your gelato. Yeah. Oh, well, I always eat gelato, oh. but only on and Briars. Yeah. Oh, you're going somewhere else. Briars. Right? That's sacrilege. It's not. They make gelato. Oh my gosh. That's like getting you're your go bread a from a local bakery. You got to get it what? from a French deli. Oh my gosh. Latte from a Keurig. <gasps> There's a hole in my shirt. Did I put that in there from the knife? No, you didn't. You're good. Oh. Whew. All right. Ready? I don't know if I can sew that back up or not. Okay. I don't know where we're going with this. Well. I was going to tell you that it's a bit smaller okay. than the Antonini. So that's why I was confused with your Wait, Antonini. wait, wait. No, no, no. The Antonini is smaller than this one. I, oh, that's what I meant. Because Antonini's are always small. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. And then uh, Antonini is an Italian company too, though. They could be linked to Mazarin. I mean, they're both in a Menaggio, Italy. So There are several ma makers in Menaggio. You remember our uh, MKM brand? Menaggio Knife Makers? That's right. That's because it's, it's the knife... Center. Yes, I'm Italy. not sure if Mazarin, Mazarin like is one of the Menaggio maker. They're in Menaggio. Yeah. I'm not sure if they're one of the MKM. I, I know, know it's Lion Steel, Antonini, and. Um, you said MKM, but are they. MKM is the four companies. Oh, that's right. That's what they call their. Um, I can't remember what the other one I, is. I don't think. Bastianelli is one. Is, is that it? correct? I can't remember. I have to look it up. So it's, it's probably just a coincidence, you know. It might be Mazarin, might be the other one. Because Mazarin is like 1960 and Antonini is 1925, mm -hmm. so. That's, I'm sure that's a... Just a coincidence. You know what no. wasn't a coincidence? What? That we just did our last knife. Show, okay. Because that means the end of the show. Thanks for watching. Make sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment like on public this video. Radio. Thanks for watching. Or the Brought last you one. By. I'm Ira Glass. <laughs> the National Public Library. Have you made your donation this week? <laughs> It's okay. time to donate again. Yep. I know you gave eighteen dollars last Tuesday, but it's Thursday. Yep. And we're, and gonna, we're needing we're going more. down. Yes. Comment on our video, or the last one. That way you can be entered to win the Rook M eight seventy five hyphen T Z knife. Also, <laughs> comment on Land Knife Blog trivia question and enter to enter to win the Titanium Artisan Proponent. Crispy. I'm sorry, but no. Yes. Just now. We are also on social media sites like Instagram. Notice I didn't find them. Facebook, yet. Pinterest, Reddit, and the infamous YouTube. Infamous. Follow us on there for updates, new photos, and Jeez. knife content. I was trying to change it up. Yeah. With that, I'm C, happy and day. this is Jewel. Say happy Valentine's Day once. Just Jewel. You and we're signing off. And I say just Joel signing <laughs> yep, off. Yep, well, I was trying to change it up. Oh, we're good. Mm-hmm.